Hey guys, I am back here with another super cool kit and tutorial. And this one is all about daisies. And we're walking into spring. I wanna say spring eventually because it does not stop to rain and I am ready for spring. So we are gonna pretend that it's spring with flowers and daisies. And what encompasses spring more than daisies? This kit would be so fun and cute and adorable for a little girl, a tea party, um, a photo shoot, because this is gonna come with everything that you need. Um, or you could just make it at home following this video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this super cute little flower crown. Um, and let's be real, this does not have to be for a little girl. You could totally make it for an adult and just go frolic in a field because that sounds super fun. So we're gonna go ahead and do a super fun little daisy crown. We are gonna do a little daisy clip. And this is just has a um, little small alligator clip on the back to attach it to your hair. And then a cute little daisy bouquet. So, I mean, really, I mean, if you had a little girl and we're just like, I wanna give her a little daisy bouquet with a little daisy clip or flower crown, how fun would this be for pretend to play and all that fun stuff too. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, I have all of the freezer paper stencils ready to go, link below. If you wanna just get the stencils to hand cut all of these, or later in the video, I will talk about how you could buy all of the materials you need in a kit and with all the written instructions as well as this video, obviously, to walk you step-by-step step through all of this and that way you don't have to source anything. You're gonna get the wire, the ribbon, the felt, and all that stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna cut one leaf out and kind of just walk through this really quickly. I've walked through this in almost every video and I have another freezer paper stencil tutorial if you need a little bit more help. So I just cut out this leaf shape the one leaf shape versus all of them to just quickly show you the gist of it. So your freezer paper has a shiny side and a matte side. The matte side is the side that you print on or draw on or anything like that. And then the shiny side is wax that we're gonna kinda just give it a little bit of a melt to stick to our felt. So I have the green leaf shape here and I'm just gonna throw this on there. I've got an iron set to high cotton with the steam off. I'm just gonna go ahead and melt that wax just a little bit here to get it to stick onto our felt. We're gonna go get our nice handy sharp scissors and just go ahead and follow the line really easy and cut the shape out. I really love my really long blade scissors for this because it just gives a really smooth cut because I'm not like chomp, chomp, chomping. It's like one or two cuts really to go all the way around this leaf. Um, and then you simply just peel it off. All right, let's go ahead and chat about everything you're gonna need to create these three pieces. Okay, so we're gonna start with the crown. I just kind of briefly wrote everything down here. So you're gonna need 10 of these large daisy shapes, four of these smaller daisy shapes, and 25 of these leaf shapes. So for the clip, two more of these large daisies, two of these leaves, which is the same exact leaf shape, a leaf base. And then for the bouquet, six of the large daisies, six of the uh, wild leaves. And the next thing we're gonna need for all of our daisy centers is felt balls. So each daisy we make, we're gonna do one felt ball in the center. So the crown has nine flowers. So you're gonna need nine felt balls for the crown. The clip has one flower, so you need one felt ball for that. And then the bouquet has three flowers, so you need three felt balls for that one. So you're gonna need some wire. You're gonna need 18 gauge wire and some 22 gauge wire. So if you're doing this at home, you can do whatever lengths you want. But for this one, I did five eight inch wires of the 18 gauge and then two three inch wires. And this is gonna hold your leaves on. The crown's gonna use all 22 gauge wire and you're gonna need nine at five inches and eight at three inches. All right, let's go ahead and start with our daisy clip. So we have two of our large petals, two leaves, one leaf base, one felt ball, and a small mini alligator clip. Okay, so let's build our daisy first. We're gonna go ahead and take one of our petals. We're gonna take our hot glue gun here. I use the fine tip hot glue gun because it's just the best 
And link below to this glue gun because I love it and it's got the fine tip, so it's just putting out a tiny bit of glue instead of globbing out a ton. But we're gonna just put a literally a tiny little bit of glue here on both sides. That way we can fold our petal here and fold our petal here and just pinch those closed and that's just gonna help make a little dome in our flower so that it just kind of brings it up and makes it look like a nice daisy. So we're gonna follow that all the way around. We're gonna put just a little bit at the bottom edge, not in that like circle area, but right above it. And then just pinch and hold until that glue sets. I did white daisies for this, but this would be super fun if you did like rainbow daisies or just pink daisies or really any color daisies and it'd just be super fun and adorable. In fact, my daughter's been wanting to steal this crown so she could have a little tea party with it. So she'll be very excited that uh, mom's actually gonna let her play with it. <laughs> All right, so last one. Make sure you're putting just a little bit of glue because you don't want that glue to kind of smush out. And then if it does smush out a little bit, just grab your little small fine tip scissors and just cut it off just to make it a little flat. You can't really see the glue on the white so much. Some of the darker color flowers, you can definitely see when that, blue, that glue kind of comes out a little bit. So now we're gonna take our felt ball, put a little bit of glue in this little pocket that we kind of made here, and throw it right into it. And you have the start of your daisy. So the next thing, we're gonna make this like a double petal daisy. So now we're gonna take our next flower, put a little bit of glue in the middle here, throw that down, and we wanna make sure the top petals are coming down between our bottom petals. You don't want to line it up because then you'll lose a lot of the petals. You just won't see them. On this flower, you've got these little kind of divots right here and that's where I'm gonna put my glue. So I'm gonna put a little bit here and a little bit here and then smush these petals up right into that glue and pinch at the same time to kind of fan out my petals just so that they're not like stacked on top of each other so perfectly but if you kind of pinch them in, it fans them out a bit. And we're just gonna do that all the way around in each one of those valleys. And I like to do two petals at a time because I my fingers can hold two down at a time very comfortably. Any more than that, it gets a little unwieldy. But if you wanna do one at a time, that's fine too. Ta-da! And we have our daisy. And this is exactly the same way that we're gonna make our daisy on everything else too. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two leaves, we're gonna put a little bit of glue on the bottom and do a pinch here. On our pinch too, I kind of like to pinch and then kind of flatten it down. I do this because we're gonna be on a clip and you want it a little bit flatter. You don't want so much bulk on it, so I'm just, Pinching and then flattening. So I'll show you again. Pinch and then rotate. Oh, no, I did it too fast. And flat. Just like so. Let's go ahead and attach them to our flower here now. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. I'm gonna put these, glue them together. It's okay that that's a little messy because it's going on underneath the flower. We're gonna put a little bit more glue here. Just lay our flower right on top. So if you look on the bottom, that's all I'm doing here. Oops, getting rid of all my spider webs. I'm just laying those leaves and budding them up. You could put them more in, less in, just whatever looks nice with the leaves kind of popping out there. Got all this. Glue off my fingers, okay. So, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna get, kinda clean your alligator clip. You don't want, you wanna keep doing this and put oils on it. So I'm gonna actually grab my shirt and kinda clean it off a little bit. Or rubbing alcohol, it works great too. And then we're just gonna go ahead and apply glue right to the alligator clip. I'm putting the leaves back. I'll show you in a second why, but, and then we're just gonna show you this way. That way you can see exactly kind of where I'm placing it here. 
can just put and glue that nice and tight on there. The reason I like to put the leaves on back is when you're clipping, you can just easily like hold onto the leaves without smashing your flower. And it's a good access point for the bend part. <laughs> so the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this leaf base and this is what's gonna kind of hold everything together because especially when you're doing glue on metal, it can easily just kind of pull off with a lot of force. And I mean, this is something that you're gonna use regularly, put in your hair, clip, touch a lot. It will get loose on that metal. So, so we wanna kind of sandwich it in so that way it stays on there. This is what we're doing. We're gonna go ahead and open up our clip and we're gonna glue this on like so. And it's just gonna kind of hold everything together here. Glue here, throw him in, and then I close it because that's actually giving the force to hold down that glue. And then I'm just gonna open it up on the side here. Oops, throw some glue down. We're gonna throw some glue on this side and then fold it over and like really sandwich it down and put a lot of pressure here and make sure that that is all secure. And then that way it won't come off because now you've got the clip sandwiched inside the felt on both sides and it'll give it a lot more structure and stability over time too. Now that I smashed the flower for gluing it down, we're just gonna re-fluff that bad boy up and now you have a cute little alligator clip. So, super easy. Let's move on. But real quick, if you are enjoying this project and liking what you're seeing so far, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so that way you can follow along with all of my other videos and not miss a fun kit tutorial, tips, tricks, everything to do with felt flowers. So do that right now before you forget. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and do the bouquet real quick and then we'll move on to the flower crown. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're making three daisies and two small little leaf stems here. So same way we do the daisy, but it's just slightly different. So we're gonna take one of our pieces of wire here, we're gonna take some pliers and we're gonna make a little table for our flower to sit on. So we're making a little loop here and then we're gonna turn it to make a little circle we're gonna flip it up so it's starting to get a little bend in it. And now we're gonna flatten it. So it's flat and now we're gonna turn it up. Now, this is a little complicated and stressful but once you figure it out, the movement, it becomes very, very easy. So we're basically making a little table for our flower to sit on. So first things first, we're just gonna grab one of our petals and just kind of twist it until it kind of pops through there. And then just bring it down to the bottom and we're gonna set that aside. Now we're gonna do this daisy the exact same way as we did the other daisy and we're just gonna apply some glue here and pinch. So all of these daisies are pretty much exactly the same. So it's a lot of repetitive motion. If you wanted to do this project like with the kiddo, I would highly suggest either you do the gluing or they have low temp glue guns that you can heavily supervise someone with low temp where this sucker will definitely burn you, especially with that glue coming out. If you're a little unwieldy with it, the glue was very hot and I have definitely have some burns and scars to prove that. But they have low temp glue guns or uh, Aileen's makes a great felt glue that is like a tacky glue and you can use that. The only tricky thing about that is that it's not like an instant dryer like a hot glue would be. Okay, so same thing. And then we're gonna throw some glue in the middle and throw a felt ball in the middle. So the only thing that's different about this one is that we have our little table here and we're gonna apply glue to this and sandwich that wire between our two flowers. And that's gonna just keep it like a flower stem, really. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna go in the two valleys and pinch up. And all the way around. Like so, and then I'm just Give it a little flap. So you're gonna go ahead and make three of them. Same exact way, and you have three daisies for this bouquet. So next thing we're gonna make our leaf shape, which is basically, this is what we're making. It's got three leaves, and this is just kind of like a fun little wild leaf shape that I've got here. So we've got these leaves cut here, and we're just gonna do a very simple pinch the leaf on technique here. So we're gonna put some glue here. 
throw our wire down and then just pinch it closed. Kind of make that a little bit longer. All right, so if you get a little bit of glue, extra glue here, no big deal, just snip it off. And then we're gonna take one of our three inch wires here and do the same thing. There's a few different floral wires that I've worked with. This one is a little slicker. It's literally a like a painted coated wire, so it is smooth, it feels like wire, and it's just green. Whereas this wire is like a paper wire, so it's got um, something for the glue to stick on really, really well. Whereas this can get really slidey with your leaves. So if your leaves start kind of falling off your wire, what I like to do is just make a tiny little loop at the end, just like this, and this is just gonna give the leaf more surface area for it to attach to the wire. That's all we need is just a little bit of extra surface area so the leaves don't just like slide off. I'm gonna do that and glue it on the exact same way. So I put the loops on both sides and we're gonna glue a leaf onto both sides. And if this is too long, I like to snip that a little bit too. And I like to kind of tug on them and really, really hold to make sure that these leaves are really, really on there because this, sometimes this wire gets a little slick and they like to come off. So now we're gonna take this, our 18 gauge long wire and our skinny 22 gauge wire and we're gonna go ahead and wrap this leaf onto this leaf. So I like to put a lot of pressure, kind of make a little cross here, put a lot of pressure and really twist this as tight as you can and that will make it very, very secure on there and not slide around. And just move the wire to exactly where we want it to go. So you have our two leaves and our three flowers. So we're gonna go ahead and grab some ribbon, put our leaves here and just tie a sweet little bow around this. And then the fun happens where because you're putting it on wire, so I mean that's cute like this too, but like I like to just kind of move the wire, move my leaves, and then really like, you see I'm kind of like bending and folding, bending and folding, and just kind of putting my daisies exactly kind of where I want them to be. Just kind of makes it a fun, cute little bouquet, because really when have you seen a perfectly straight daisy and perfectly straight leaves? <laughs> it just makes it more fun. So there you go, cute little bouquet. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start on our flower crown now. So we are gonna start with making four of these smaller daisies right here, and then we're gonna have five of these double daisies. These double daisies are exactly the same way we made our first daisies for our clip and our bouquet. So I'm just gonna show you really quick how to make these little mini daisies, and then we're gonna start assembling, and I'll show you how we do that. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is since this is a single layer daisy, it's basically the same but a little bit less. So we're gonna go ahead and do our wire again. We're gonna do a really small little loop-de-loop -loop and make our little table again. And this is our five inch 22 gauge wire. Now, we're gonna stick it right in the middle, just like so. Okay, we're gonna do the exact same thing as the larger daisy but we gotta just look at it from the perspective of one layer instead of two. So we're gonna build this kind of on the wire this time. And we're gonna just do a little bit of glue on that edge and then pinch all the way around. So yeah, same exact thing. So when you're making the double daisies, cause you're gonna need five of those, do the exact same thing as the bouquet daisy but use the five inch thinner 22 gauge wire. And then almost done, one more here. And then I liked having the two different size daisies, it just kinda broke it up from being the exact same thing on the flower crown too. Okay, so there we go. So now we have this little pocket, and this one's gonna be a little bit of a tighter pocket in there, so we're gonna grab another felt ball, throw some glue in there, and we're really gonna just kinda, this one we're gonna have to kinda push in there like so, because it's just a smaller flower, so it's just got a smaller little pocket for felt ball. I'm gonna clean it up with just a hair. Small mini daisy hair. Okay, so what we're gonna end up with is five of these double daisies. Yeah, we'll put five there, and then four of these small mini daisies. 
Next thing we're gonna make is um, eight of these double leaf stems. So just like this. So how we're gonna make those, we're gonna take a three inch wire, two leaves, and again, we're, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of a loop on each side just to give it a little bit more surface area. And we're gonna just do a simple pinch leaf. So throw some glue on and pinch. Throw glue on and pinch. So we have a double-sided leaf. So we're gonna do eight of these. Like so. Let's go ahead and get to the assembly part. So I did say 25 leaves and this is only 16 leaves. So we have all of these leaves that I will show you what we're gonna do with these. Okay, now we're gonna grab some grapevine wire and this is 40 inches long. You could also kind of measure a kiddo's head first or if it's an adult, you're gonna wanna go a little bit bigger and kind of just measure the wire first before cutting it but the way we're also designing it here is that it is adjustable so we're gonna throw a ribbon on the bottom so it will get wider and smaller depending on how tight you tie this ribbon in the back so don't be too too particular on the perfect size per se because it you can make it fit multiple head sizes and then as your child grows, or if you wanna be an adult, have it for an adult or a kid, it will just be adjustable. So I've got 40 inches of wire here that's folded in half, and I'm gonna start on the loopy end here, kind of make a loop, just kind of keep going with that loop, and I'm just gonna twist these wires all the way down. And this is just gonna make it really sturdy, create that loop for the ribbon to go through, just nice and thick to really sit well on a head. Keep going. And then on this back part, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of create a loop. This stuff is pretty, pretty rigid. So just going around, oops. One time here, it'll definitely stay together. And then I'm gonna take my wires and just really like mush these together just to kind of make it so no one's getting poked by that end there. So there you go. Now you have two loops and this is where your ribbon's gonna attach like one solid piece of wire. I like to keep it straight while attaching everything and then bend it at the end. That way it's just, it just makes it easier so nothing's kind of on top of each other. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and take our center here, which is, we're at about 16 inches, almost 17 inches. So like eight and a half, that's about our center. And we're gonna start with our big daisy right in the middle and we're gonna just tightly wind this wire all the way around. But we're not gonna go all the way. So I've got this tail of wire and we're gonna go ahead and just plop it facing up. Just kind of up and kind of out of the way right now and we'll readdress it a little bit later after we get all of our daisies on. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead, we have our center flower. We're just gonna kind of line these up here. Put those there. And then these ones are gonna go right in between each of them. So now we kind of understand our spacing here. Actually, this needs to smush over a little bit, like so, kind of get the spacing down, and then do the exact same thing. So this one was here. We're gonna wrap this one around same exact way, and then leave that little tail of a wire just kind of tucked up, facing up. And then I'm gonna do this one right smack in between those two. I like to have quite a bit of wire. It just makes it way more secure and sturdy for your flowers to stay on. Same thing over here. Go right here. I like all my flowers on wire because now you can manipulate your flowers once they're, once you have them in place and say on a head, you can just kind of be like, no, I want this flower here or here. It's just very, very helpful. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add our last large daisy. Okay, and then now we're gonna take these ones and put them right in between. Same exact thing. It's 
It's gonna get a little bit tight in here, but don't worry. Like this one just kind of flew out of the way and that's totally fine because we can just put it right back. All right, last one. Thanks for hanging with me as we work through all of these flowers. So now we have all of our flowers on our crown. I'm just kind of smushing them in the right direction. Okay, so now we're gonna deal with all of those loose wires right now. This is where all of our other leaves come in. We're gonna go ahead and apply these leaves to the ends of those wires. And the reason I like to do this, especially if this is going on, you know, well really any head, nobody wants just loose wires like stabbing you on accident. So this is gonna close up every single open wire that you have. And then you don't have any issues with um, accidentally getting stabbed or your hair getting pulled and that sort of stuff. So we're gonna add a little bit of glue. We'll go ahead and just pinch on our leaves. We can also twist all of these wires just like we did the other ones as well just to give them a little bit of more surface area I mean this this is something that's definitely gonna get handled a lot so um, it's not gonna hurt also the reason why like if you look at this one you're like why didn't you put on the leaves ahead of time the reason why is because, for instance, I'll show you right here, this wire is too long. And I would just wanna give it a little bit of a trim. And if the leaf is already on there, you definitely cannot adjust any of these wires. Okay, so now we're gonna just keep going with our leaves and attach all of our leaves to our open wires. Okay, so we have locked in all of those wires and it does look a little sparse, like we need a little bit more leaves. So that's where these ones come in and now we're just gonna kind of use our discretion here. Uh, you don't have to do it on every single spot, but you know, just kind of come in and you're like, I've got a hole here and then let's twist on another leaf. And then we can twist as many times as it takes to get the leaves where we want them. So I've got two leaves on that side, so I'm gonna put these two on this side. This is when I kind of start really smushing things in which direction I want them. So I'm just gonna move this flower out of the way, throw on another leaf here. All right, we're gonna do our last leaf here. We just put a leaf between every single flower. And I'm gonna smush this leaf out so it's kinda, you know, coming out the side here. I'm gonna smush them in all different directions just to, this is the great thing about wire, you can put them exactly where you want them. So the next thing we're all gonna do, is this is where like the fun starts happening and we're just gonna bend and adjust our wire to make a nice curved head shape here. And then you can practice kind of putting it on the person's head and then just kind of adjusting wires and flowers and putting them exactly where you want them. I'm gonna grab a ribbon. This is about 30 inches and I am just gonna string it through one side and the other side for the loop. And then this is what gives you the adjustability. So once it's on the head, you can place it down and then just kind of put it where it needs to go and then just tie a sweet little bow on the end and then it just hangs nicely. And you have a beautiful little sweet daisy flower crown. All right guys, that was super fun. I hope you loved it. Uh, I hope that wasn't too intimidating. A lot of steps, all the same flower. Hopefully that broke it down and made it a little bit simpler than what you possibly thought and opened some doors on all the beautiful flower crowns that you can make uh, along with, you know, just little flower clips and your bouquets and just a whole fun little daisy spring set for you guys. So if you want to go ahead and make this yourself at home, I've got all of the PDF freezer paper stencils, some SVGs down there 
Some of these don't really cut really well with an SVG and that would be for your like Silhouette Cameo or your Cricut. They're better off hand cutting, but I've got all the digital templates below as well as a full kit with all of the wire, the ribbon, the petals, the felt, everything included. So if you wanna go ahead and just be like, I wanna make that, go ahead and order that kit, link below, and that way it just kinda makes everything so much easier and curated for you so you don't need to worry about getting all of the little details here. Thank you guys so much for coming along and I will catch you next time.